Knowing you and having been around you and seeing you when you were somebody, something, at least in our minds, and then you were at your lowest, do you get that cocky, that confidence back that you were kind of like where you were when you were with the Chargers or, you know, where you're the big man on campus there? Because now you got some notoriety. People are, you know, giving, offering you jobs. And, and you know, now it, it feels like you made it through there. And is there that risk of becoming the old Ryan Leaf? Yes, there is. There's always that risk because the ego was a huge part of yeah. what took me down that path. But what I've done differently is that I've become part of a program and I've surrounded myself with different people, people who hold me accountable, who I've asked to hold me accountable. And I think that's the best word there is in the English language because it's, it's what your part is in all this. And also I know that none of this can be about me ever again. Like it can't be about me, even though I may be doing something where people stand up and clap sometimes. If I go speak at an event yeah. and they're applauding me, it, that really has nothing to do with me. It has to do with somebody in the audience who may need that. You did it a few weeks or a few months ago where, yeah. I mean, you just, you were transparent yeah. and there was somebody out there that heard you and could feel the same type of way. And that's kind of what fuels me. There's a humility to it. And you can't talk about being humble. It's just, it's just an understanding of who you are. You know who you are now, regardless of what anybody else says, does, or anything. Well, you, you have to be humble. You can't say you're humble. Exactly. You know, it's, and that's why I didn't even tell the Danettes I was going to make that announcement of what I was going through health-wise, because I thought they might talk me out of it. And I had to just, I had to say it. And I didn't know where I was going. I knew I was going to get emotional. But as my wife said, if you can help one person being honest and letting them know, because, you know, I, I, I wanted to hide it. And then I didn't know if I was hiding it. And then in your mind, you're going, God, everybody can see this. The craziest and, and the best thing about what has happened with my relationship with you and the show is exactly what you just said and what your wife said, is that when I've come on your show, people have reached out and either asked for help or talked to me about how it, it inspired them to change in a positive way. And you, that's exactly what you talked about. One person, it may be one person yeah. and it's continued, Dan. I mean, to this day, I still get direct messages in my, in my Twitter account or anything else talking about, we love your appearances on Dan Patrick's show. Um, I went and sought out help um, after I heard, I mean, that's what it's done for me. And that's why I, I know you guys were talking about that. That's why I call Fritzy every time I'm in the area. Cause I'm like, I know how far you can reach somebody. And when you did it the mm. other day too, that just, it just compounds that and, and, and enforces it for everybody else. But I also made it about me and my wife said, make sure you make sure you make it about everybody else because you can make it about yourself, but use that as a launching pad to make it about everybody else. And she was right. I I'm saying, Hey, I'm not what I used to be. And I'm making some mistakes here. Maybe you don't know it, but I know it. And I want, I want to laugh with you. I don't want you to laugh at me. And then she said, no, it's about, you know, talking to somebody, being honest with somebody, being willing to be transparent. And we talk about that all the time. Oh, he's transparent. No, you know, what's transparent when you sit down and you tell who's ever listening or watching it, I'm not what I appear to be. And that's the truest form of being a human being. I, we are all flawed human beings when we're just trying to be better every single day. The understanding that that's the truth, right? Just because you have a, a world renowned or a radio show doesn't make you different because sometimes when I talk to guys, I'm just because you're a great athlete doesn't make you a great person. You, you have to really go the extra mile and build that foundation. And by doing that and being vulnerable and transparent, I mean, that was an example of what you did. It's an example of what, uh, how I've changed my life over the last, you know, four and a half years since I walked out of that cell. It's, it's been a 180 degree lifestyle change. And when you see it from people who are constantly uh, having a platform, people feel um, like they can relate to that. Well, I got medicated. I would drink myself, uh, you know, to go to sleep. Yeah. Because I, I didn't want to wake up in the morning because I knew I was going to be in pain. And you were trying to medicate. Well, you did medicate. I did yourself. the same thing. You did medicate yourself. And then, you know, you're, you're in a world and then you realize you're in a world and you go, I, how did I get here? And how do I get out? I obviously didn't have the depths that you had where you went to prison and, you know, you broke into somebody's house to steal opioids. Right. I mean, I didn't, um, I didn't utilize alcohol in that way. Um, I found another way, which was was opioids, right? It was... What was that first... How, how did that 
feel that first time or, or did well, you feel it? the first time I you know was ever introduced to it was after surgery and it um see I don't even take them I had my knee replaced I refuse to do it I won't do it anymore I was so afraid we just had this in instant uh, I just talking to you about on Monday I was playing in Mariano Rivera's golf tournament and playing great through eight holes and all of a sudden I'm just like keel over on the golf course they put me in an ambulance and take me to uh, the hospital here in White Plains uh, New York, and what it turns out is I had a hernia, and it it like literally my like my guts were coming out, and they came in and said, "Hey, can we do something for the pain?" And I the biggest Ooh. the biggest thing for transparency and vulnerability is when you look at a doctor and you tell them, "Doc, I'm a drug addict, I can't have any pain medication." All right, and they are fully aware. They don't hear it that often, but when you're honest with them, and then I I got sent home after the the day the CT scan and got sent home with, with ibuprofen. And that's, that's my lifestyle now. And that's okay. Because there's a part of you that goes, man, this hurts. And it'd be nice to have that feeling again. It's just, I know why I use it and I can tolerate pain, right? When I was in college, bones had to be coming out of my body to take me off the football field. Right? So I can, I can deal with pain. Yeah. The reason I would take that is because I, I'd want to feel different. I, did, I wouldn't want to feel something like you talked about. I, would, I don't want to feel this way, so I'm going to... Did you want to disappear? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I wanted, I wanted no one to see me. I didn't want to deal with anybody. The isolation is what I was searching and for. And that's what I would do every night. I would go downstairs, and I'd drink by myself. No, it makes complete sense, right? I mean, I, I consider all of it... It doesn't make sense when you look back upon it. You're like, what, what are you doing? Right, now that I live in this world... Well, right? me, I'm talking about me, like, I... I Distance my if my family wanted to see me after seven o'clock they came downstairs. I would had opportunities to spend time with family or go on a date or something like that and I just I didn't I wanted this I wanted the distance from it all yeah and that so I it makes sense to me having lived it and dealing and and having worked in this field and and, and dealing with it on a daily basis now. For more Dan Patrick Show tune into Audience Channel two thirty nine on Direct TV. Stream for free on BR Live or download the Dan Patrick Show app.